You a psychiatrist too? No, I'm not. Can you tell me exactly how she was behaving when you first saw her at the zoo? Like she was nuts, that's how. What kind of horror movie watcher are you when you're in a theater? Are you the guy like are you covering your eyes or like you Oh no, I want I want the full I want the full effect. Yeah. I don't want to shield myself. I yeah. want to be scared. Yeah. You know, I want to I want the full ride, so right. uh, that's what we try to deliver here. Yeah, yeah, clearly, it, it, you know, like there's a few moments where I'm just kind of like, oh, please, please don't go in that basement. Don't, don't do that at all. <laughs> what kind of horror films scare you the most, or is 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 this kind of your new? Is this your new jam? Do you, does kind of the exorcism story just scare the pants off of you now? Uh, I just like horror when it's really good. I mean, you know, we all appreciate a good jump scare, I guess. So I'm, I, I love an eerie film. You know, eerie scares me a lot more than than. Than big big jump scares and uh, Scott Derrickson, our director, is a genius at that. His his previous films, Exorcism of Emily Rose and Sinister, I found so scary. Um, so I knew I was in good hands, and it's one of the reasons why I chose to do the film was because Scott was directing. And for preparation of this, my understanding is that you were given some of like kind of like you know evidence room, top secret kind of actual exorcism audio and some video and, mm -hmm. and things like that. Did you get to the point with that where you're like, I can't, I can't do this anymore? Or did you find yourself wanting uh, to? Yeah, I saw enough. I, there, there was one in particular that I saw that really freaked me out and I, I just did not require to, to see any more than that and try to stop the other cast members from seeing it, which, which, which I failed. Scott <laughs> still showed Olivia and, and stuff, so uh -huh. and I know it freaked her out as well. So, you know, they're not, they're not at all fun to watch. They, are, they will freak. The hell out of you. Yeah, and it's just interesting concept that we we as movie movie audiences go and purposefully get the pants scared off of us. Mm. Um, meanwhile, this this kind of reality existed. Does the evidence that you saw, like going into this film before you you saw that kind of stuff, did this film or this process change your mind about how you feel about? This yeah, I, it just vastly uh, educated me. You know. And, I thought I knew a little bit about it, but I had no idea. You know, so much of this is, is cultural. Yeah. You know, so many parts of the world that you would go to where there's nothing unusual about people being exercised and 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 that sort of stuff existing. Where I guess the Western world, we're a bit more kind of like sceptical about it. But you know, if you go to Africa, there's no, nothing unusual at all about about the subject matter, right? So, um, just learning about it, you know, factually. Uh, I found it very intriguing. Yeah, and this movie is a little bit about too about people who take on dangerous occupation, thrill seekers. Do you feel like there's any element to your occupation as an actor that has a thrill seeking element to it? Like, how does doing a film like this give you a fix? Oh, it definitely does. I mean, you, you, it doesn't matter what film you do. You're always putting yourself out there, putting things on on the edge a little bit. And I like to to mix it up and do different things. I've been you know, very fortunate enough to do different genres. This is my first horror film. So uh, to get a chance to, to work with Scott on a movie like this was a bit of a dream come true, to be honest. So um, I'd like to like to do more. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting choice of having Joel McHale and Olivia Munn both having the comic background. Does that really help in between scenes to kind of lighten the mood? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it, it didn't help our schedule because we mucked around so much. But um, it certainly was a lot more fun, yeah. for sure. Yeah. They're both slightly possessed, I think. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it was a hell of a lot of fun. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.